Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with your truly your first spear Primus Pilots. We are back with Henry from Scarlet and we have just taken a savior schnapp here. It is, what is the time? It is almost six o'clock. Damn it, we have to run. Pebbles! Come here, Pebbles. Come on. <laughs> Pebbles, come on. Oh god. Fine. <laughs> right, good to be back. Let's go to Perkstein. Let us go to Perkstein. That is actually the first thing I'm going to do this episode because we haven't seen a lot of action. We haven't seen a lot of main questing in the last couple of episodes. I want to get to Perkstein and talk to Sir Hanush and Sir Ratzig over that whole... Uh, I want to talk to them over the whole... Um, what's it called situation? The whole... Uh, um, hi, Archery Master. No? Okay. I want to talk to them over the whole... Uh, about the whole Pribitslavich uh, situation. There we go. Go to, go to the hall of the Upper Castle. Here we go. Main quest. What about that whole Pribitslavich mess, uh, mess? My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Pribislavich. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pribislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off, and they even took one captive. Ooh. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Fa... Fa... what? I don't give a... Fack what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. <laughs> That's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. <laughs> they're count yeah, they're counterfeit. The fake, fake, saying, Master Tobias. fake um, money. This here is just a pile of copper. Yeah. Curva. Fuck. Plated with silver, so it's still of some <laughs> worth. Yeah. Well. Mm. Curva. Fuck. Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschen seem freshly minted, so... So we are Fuck. facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. Yeah, That's all indeed. We need. Yeah. Dop it the Scarlet well, Silver gentlemen. Mines. It's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. True. Well, lad, I said it would have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhoyed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very yep. well, sir. Very well. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Right, so you're going to be back at Talmberg. I kind of want to go to Sassau as well, and there's also... A DLC quest exactly where we are here. So that might be something that I would like to check as well. Find out what happened to Matthias. Uh, I'd like to do that. What, uh, what? So there's a DLC quest like right over here. Which I kind of would like to talk about. Where is it? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to check. I'm just going to check. Since we're here... Greetings. What do you need? Right, so that's it. Um, 
Is there something else I can do for you? May I be of service, my lord? Yes, Henry. Chief Engineer Fafar has been asking for someone reliable to assist him. All right. Chief Engineer? Is it about Scalets? In a manner of speaking. Master Fafar has, well, evil forebodings. I think he may want to send you to the Scalets mines. Oh, God. Can they really be restored? Everything can be rebuilt with enough will and resources. Well, everything except a man. You'll get the details from Chief Engineer Fafar. For the time being, consider yourself his handyman. Certainly. Where do I find him? Is he here in the castle? Where? Now that's a good question. He ought to be somewhere at Perkstein unless he's gone off to deal with some problem or other. Look around. You're bound to run into him. All right. Well, if we... Thank you. I'll go and see him straight away. Good luck, uh, Hal. Yeah. My God, that's so much... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to pick up any more quests. I do want to talk to Sir Ratzig about this whole affair with the... Uh, stop it. Captive. Henry, have you questioned that prisoner in Merho yet? yet? No, I haven't. Not yet. Then get on with it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to ask him, because this is DLC stuff. I'm not sure what, what this is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. But with us having so many side quests already, and also, let's be honest, there is... About eight people waiting for us at the Ratai. Um, uh, at the uh, there's about eight people uh, uh, waiting for us at the Rat House. I think we're gonna round up some quests before we start taking on more. Because now, now Five Nar, that that Five Nar guy is wanting to talk to us as well, and we got to do yeah. something about the silver mines. And I'd like to keep things fresh and not pick up side quests, you know, just everywhere. I'd like to keep things organized. I think. And, and also, I think it works better from a roleplay perspective, right? Because if you just start picking up quests, you know, everywhere, then... Yeah, I don't know. Then it just... That feels really weird for me. So I'd like to do this from a roleplay perspective. Some quests I will not even pick up, like this one over here. I'm not going to do that. But one quest in particular that we are talking about right now is, after I refresh this, um, is the quest with the lady... Um, who was sitting outside... What's her name? What is her name? Uh, tough love. With Elishka. Go and see Elishka's husband's family. And that is over here, actually. So we're going the wrong way. Uh, this is one of those quests that I would like to check out right now. Because um, I think we can get some easy progress in on this. Uh, bring Hal Alex to boar meat. Now, okay, I will actually try and... Anything we need to fix? Nope. I will do uh, Tough Love right now. I will not do Beggar's Feast. Yeah, because that's what I mean. Look at look at the amount of side quests we are already tracking. I'd like to do one thing at a time if possible. And right now, that is Vengeance and such. Now, what? find out what happened to Matthias. Where is Matthias? We probably have to find that out in Merhoyet itself, right? So since we just picked up that quest, I am actually going to talk to the... Uh, chief engineer here because we need to go yeah. that way anyway right so five now right Th no that's you yeah let me talk to you Tobias Pfeiffer that's it hello there, Tobias what business have you Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and how Sir Radzik sides with the king. Right. Are you Chief Engineer Fafar? Yes, I am. What can I do for you? Sir Radzik sent me to be of service to you. Ah, I'm glad to hear it. It's high time we started putting things to rights. There's been quite enough dithering. How can I help with these, um, evil forebodings? What do they mean, evil forebodings? <laughs> Sir Radzik may make light of it, but a large quantity of silver has been discovered hereabouts. And no one is guarding the Skullet's mines, the most likely source. You really think someone could be stealing the silver from the mines? I would have thought that would be quite a job, wouldn't it? It certainly would. Which is why I'd like you to go and check out not only the mine gallery, but also the yard with the smelter and the waterworks. See what kind of state it's all in, and if anything looks... Right, suspicious. yeah. So, uh, I was I was already thinking, like, this is the guy that we just saw in the room with uh, uh, Sir Hanush and Sir Ratzig and Bernard. So, he, th like, this is the guy who came in carrying the counterfeit coin. So, basically, this guy is saying to us, look, 
Something's happening at the Scarlet's Mines. I want to know what this is. I want to know what's happening here. And whether... And whether the counterfeit production is actually is being done at there the mines. There used to be a stock of charcoal and smelted silver there. A silver store? Could there really be any left? I doubt it. I'd be surprised if it was still standing at all. What about these waterworks? What's there? A stumping mill and washing troughs. They're on the bend in the river below the castle. You can't miss them. There are big tanks and equipment all around. You said mine gallery. Just one. Boy, there's such a maze there that it would take a week to crawl through the place. There's only one gallery I'm interested in. At the foot of the hill by a small fish pond. Okay, foot happened? of the hill by a small fish pond. Because I was expecting to find a scene there. All the indications pointed to it. So if anyone is stealing silver, it'll be right there. Should I be expecting trouble, though? Well, I definitely wouldn't treat the job like a visit to church on Sunday. You could find yourself facing that pack of hungry dogs trailing the army, or a band of brigands. I see. Well, you and Saradza can rely on me. That's all clear. I'll get going. Good luck, then. All right, so that is actually an important quest to pick up, I think. Um, so basically, there's a couple... Wow, objective started. So yeah, there, we need to get to... Um, we need to get to Scarlet's anyway, because there's a couple of other quests that we need to uh, pick up there. Uh, not pick up, but that we need to... Um, there's a couple of other things that we need to do at Scalets. Like the whole um, digging under the dove post thing, right? That we got from the the fellow in green. Who di we didn't really like. What's his name again? My god, not Spishek. Conciliation Cross. Hello there. It wasn't Spishek. I'm actually... No, I'm not going to go down here. I'm not going to go down here. Yeah. Not to be shek, but what was his name? I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name, and now it's starting to annoy me, so I might go into the quest box soon. Oh, horsemanship. Okay, we need to go in there anyway, so that's fine. Let's refresh that thing. Still so annoying that we need to refresh that, but this is what it is. I'm sorry about that. That is, that is a bit of game streaming, I guess. Um... Yeah, we're bloody dirty. We need to wash as well. Are we wearing that pendant? We are, right? Yeah, the neck chain. Um, yeah, we also need to know why we have that burnt wood from the alloy farm. Alo alo al Alois farm? Mm, I don't know. Uh, hair meat, milk. I'd like to start dropping the milk here. Let's drop that. I'm also going to drop the hair meat because it's bloody heavy and we're not going to eat it. Player. There we go. Skills. Horsemanship. Get a 15% damage bonus in mountain combat with both range and melee weapons. Increases our chances of staying in the saddle if an opponent tries to unhorse us. Actually, that is what we'll take. Because if an opponent is trying to unhorse us, we are basically already going to be in a situation where we need to get the hell out of there, right? So that is basically going to improve our chances of survival a lot more than any of the other perks. That is That is how I'm trying to do this. Uh, where is that? We have Ruin. No. Chumps in the river? No. Skin the boars. Who do you like? And roll in the tourney. That is something that I will... I mean, once if there's a tourney, I'm going to do it. Because I just really love doing it. <laughs> okay, find a treasure under the dove goat. So this quest was given to us by Kunesh. There we go. I went to see Kunesh to try and get him to repay the remainder of his debt to father. Oh, father. Man, it feels like ages ago since we've lost mother and father there. Seems like ages ago. What time is it? Okay, it's six o'clock. Yeah. A little past six. We need to be fast now. There, I think. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm going to go down here. Oh, my. That is a bit of a drop. Oh, God. That is way too much of a drop. Okay, pebbles. Nice and easy. Shouldn't have done that, but I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we made it safely. Safely down. Uh, yeah. So now we follow this path and we try and find... I forgot to set a timer. That is fine. We'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll take a look at the clock every now and then. Let's jump. Almost, Pebbles. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. I think this is it, right? Discovered a miller. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Good. See if they want to take in that girl. What 
What do you want? I've got information about your daughter-in-law. <laughs> Elishka's fine, only she needs... Never heard of her. Get lost. Oh, come on. She's your She's kin. She's nearest kin. Elishka's part of your family, and she really needs your... I won't help anyone. I could make it worth your while. Really? And what is it you want? Your son's widow needs help. She has nowhere to go. What do I care about some useless girl? Look. <laughs> A fire could be dangerous. No, she would help. She can help around here. She could help you with the farm. She definitely knows how to take care of things. Exactly. A bit of help would come in handy. Send her here then. But don't let her think she'll be taking it easy. She'll sure. have her work cut out. That sounds quite... And if I hear a peep out of her, I'll take a stick to her back. Fine salvation this is. Yeah. Um... No, I'm, I'm... I think I'm going to talk to the executioner about this first. Because I'm not sure whether she's going to be better off here. Well, it kind of depends on what she wants. It all depends on what she wants, but if I hear that woman talking, I'm actually not not that... Uh, I wouldn't be too eager to go there. So this is where we are right now. We, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go over to... Right, so Ratzig really is traveling right now. So Sir Ratzig is here at the moment. It's pretty nice that we can track Sir Ratzig like this. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the Marriott thing. This is all the Scarlet stuff. Examine the ore processing. Not sure whether I would like to work with that old hag. Yeah. Okay, let's keep moving. That's a, a row hunting spot. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's keep riding. Oh, discovered another nest. We go. Where'd it go? Okay, I cannot find this nest. I, I, for the life of me, I cannot find it. What the hell? I cannot find this nest. Okay, well, we'll keep riding. Discover the camp. It's all fine. And now I do think we're gonna try and... We're gonna want to try and move to the left at some point. Actually, we should probably go through there. Yeah, we should probably go through there. And go to the executioner the same way that we did. What is this? I don't know. Yeah. Just get out of it, Pebbles. How? There we go. Yeah, let's try and go to the executioner yeah. the same way as we did when we were sleepwalking. I think that is through here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite sure of it, to be honest. Yeah, this this is the path. Ooh. No, no, not taking it. I don't believe they are used in potions. I believe they are used for eating. Right, I think I want to uh, talk to Hermann first. I think I want to talk to Hermann first. Okay. Elishka's looking better. She is, but she's not happy. God sent the poor girl great trials. Indeed. Did you know her whole family was wiped out by the plague? She was barely twelve. I... Losing your family isn't easy. Ah. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. So, did you find out anything about that kin of hers? I found them, but I don't like them. I have. I tracked them down. They say they take her in, but I'm not sure she'd do well there. Leave that to her. I just hope she'll be better off than now. 
Okay, this is gonna be interesting because we can also lie to her and then she'll stay with Herman, right? Relax, buddies. My lord. Right, through the chicken sis. She should be sitting over here. Now, what do we do here? Are we gonna tell her the truth or are we gonna lie to her? Because I think that is what's going to be our options here. God save. How may I help you, good night? Take my word for it. You've stopped crying. No, I'm not crying now. I'm not. I've wept enough for a lifetime. It's a bit of a change since my last visit. Yeah. I haven't had much luck in my life, but I've always worked things out in the end. Tears are no help to anything. That's true. All right. Fine. Um, so, did you find out something about them? I did. I did. I found your husband's father and mother, and uh, they're willing to take you in. But... They are not very nice. They're, um... They're not very nice people, Eliska. They'll probably work you to the bone. Exactly. But you would get fed. Life is never easy. But at least I'd have a family. Look, I'm gonna discuss it with Herman. Yeah. You're right. Not that you're not capable of making your own Herman. choices, yeah. but... Oh, God. Like, I, wa I want you to choose for Herman. I most certainly... That's what I want. I'll sleep on the floor. You've nothing to fear from me. That would... I mean, Herman is so nice to her, and that family is just gonna work her to death. I'm not doing this. Like, Herman, you need to take this girl in. Would you like I've heard the way Eliska you to stay? Her and, um, would you like Eliska to stay? You know, Hal, she was always the sweetest girl. When she came with her family to retire, still single, she was a sight to behold. And it might surprise you, but she even had a word or two for me now and again. It grieved me when she married that wastrel. It was a foolish idea, but I always thought maybe she and I could... Well, fate likes a good laugh. Now I've strung up her old man, I have her under my roof. After all the years I was thinking of her. I don't want her to leave, but I don't want her to be unhappy here either. Yeah, she should... I, I feel like she should absolutely stay with Herman. Where will you, you stay? Your mind up. I can't decide. I don't know Mishikskin at all. Choose but the at executioner. Least I have a family. Herman could give you a family too. He's a decent, upright fellow. I've met none better, and that's the honest exactly. truth. But he's an executioner. But, and what's the problem? That the other women won't chat with you down at the creek. Did that sort of gossip ever interest you anyway? He's a fine man, isn't he? He's willing to take care of you, and he has the means to do it. And he wants you. He's so sick with love for you, he can't even sleep. But did he really say that? He told me he's been in love with you for years. He said he always thought you were the sweetest girl in Ratai. That's true. We used to meet now and again and exchange a few words. I... Well, he always treated me nicely. By all that's holy, you're right. I'll stay here. God be with you. Well, well, well. Herman? Yes? Could I... Can I stay here with you? You mean for good? If, if, if you don't want me to. I... You can. By God, you can. <laughs> 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 You've made me the happiest man in the world. That was so bloody cool. Tough love indeed. I like this. I really like this. Quest completed. I'm gonna talk to Herman. Bye. What? <sighs> I'm gonna talk to Herman. See how they're doing. I can't talk to Herman. My god. Is this leading outside? It is. Okay, leave that door open. There we go. No. Stop it. Thank you, Hal. Thank you. Think nothing of it. The main thing is everything worked out well. It, it, it did. It, it did. Thank you. And I want you to have this. God Almighty, I've got Alishka, 
After all these years, me, <laughs> the executioner, has the woman he loves. My lord, glad that worked out. I'm really glad that worked out. And I'm also really glad that we didn't just send her, you know, to to the uh, to the old crone, to that old hag over there. I'm really glad we didn't do that. Really glad we didn't just um, send her to her death. Right, let's get uh, let's get home. Talk to Teresa. I really liked this quest. I really liked it. Really enjoyed it. That felt so good when they were uh, embracing there. That felt really good. I knew Pebbles was here. Alrighty, let's get to the mill. Yeah. Time is it? Yeah, it's nine o'clock. I think yeah. we did decent. I think we've had a decent day. Alrighty, hello you two. Hello, we are gonna wash in the trough. The trough, right? We're gonna wash in here. And then I think we're gonna do maybe one hour of reading. We need to eat a little bit. Yep, thank you, Theresa. Let's sit here. And we're not gonna sleep just yet. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna sit first and we are going to do a little bit of eating. Go to food. Oh, crap. Well, let's eat a pretzel or two. Let's eat two pretzels and maybe a sweet pancake. Man, I, I want a pancake now. Um, and then I would like to do some reading. What were we reading? I believe Primer 2, right? Yeah, Primer 2. This is still stolen. Let's do a little bit of reading, maybe an hour or two. Alrighty, improved reading. Right, let us sleep. And then in the morning we are going to ask Teresa out. Okay, that brings us up to 100%, so there's really no point in sleeping any further. Let's sleep until 5-ish, and then maybe we can do, uh, maybe we can eat one more pretzel. We actually need to stop by a shop to buy some more food. So yeah, we need to uh, we need to stop by a shop to buy some more food, but I'd really like to get some action in. I'd, le I'd, really, I'd really want to do a little bit more combat and fighting and such. Uh, but first I want to go out with Theresa, because if we don't do that right now, I don't, th I don't know when we're going to do that. I, I just wouldn't know when we're going to do that. Let's go to the inventory. I would like to eat a another thingy. Another pretzel. There we go. Then I would like to do a little bit more reading. Two more hours of reading. Ooh, new level in reading. Good. Let's see if Teresa's up. Yeah, I think she is. Okay, you know what? I don't think it's... don't think it's very good to go on a date with all that armor on. So let's remove Hound Skull... I think this is a lot, a lot better, right? I don't see Theresa. Okay, you know, we'll pick her some flowers. She's still sleeping. Yeah, she's still sleeping. Okay, let's uh, go read for an hour. Okay, good. Right, let's get up. See if Theresa's up. Mm. Nope, still, sh still sleeping. I've almost finished that book. That is pretty cool. Boom. Did we get it? Did we finish it? Yeah, we've read the book from cover to cover. That is actually good, because that means that we can... Um, that means that we can plop it in our chest. Now, first things first. Theresa? Yeah, she's up. Good. Okay, let's uh, open that up. And then I would like to move Primer 2 into that chest, so we don't have to carry it around anymore, which is good. Where is Theresa? She's probably sitting on a bench, isn't she? Yeah, she is. She is sitting at a bench. Let's wash ourselves, gather courage and strength, and talk to Theresa. Ask her out. Greetings, Henry. Greetings. I would like to do something with you again. Still feel like doing something together. Shall we play blind man's buff? That's really what you want to do. I know it's a game for children, but I always no. liked it, and it's not just a game for children. Stupid playing it with you. Sure, of course. Right. Of course, we'll play blind man's buff. What? What is that? Then follow me. Like um, hide and seek. Nobody will see us here in this barn. Are you shy? It's a game for little children. Of course I'm embarrassed. Well, adults play it too, you know. Yeah. But only when they're drunk. Okay, sure, we'll go with you behind the barn. Ah, don't worry about it, Peshek. Nothing.
I'll cover my eyes. Well, they do say love is blind. A cheeky boy. But this is a game you won't be winning. I've got ears sharper than that. And I'm as stealthy as a cat. You'll never find me. <laughs> Good <laughs> thing I took but off the armor. Leave the barn, stealthy leave. as a cat. Jingly jangly. <laughs> You're not that stealthy with chainmail, you know? Come on, spin oh, around. Oh, I love this. What are you waiting for? Spin her around. Blind I may be, deaf I'm not. Make a sound, and you'll get got. How does it go after that? It doesn't matter. Go and hide. Right. Here? Look, Teresa. We have killed an entire bandit camp by hiding. Just you wait. Do you honestly I'll think find you. I won't be able to do this? He looks like a hen. Maybe he'll lay an egg. What, what do you mean he looks like a hen? I oh, no, no, no. I'm going to go over here. Here. Nope. No. No. No, 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 no. Actually, I think I think I'm gonna let her win. I mean, we could just go outside, I guess. I don't know. Ha! Got you. Sure, sure about that. No, I'm gonna let her win. I'm gonna let her win. Hello. Oh. Good Where job, Theresa. I can hear better than that. You can absolutely. Oh no! I've left clothes out to dry. We have to bring them in before they get soaked. Help Teresa collect the laundry. Ah, fine. You'll have to put it by the stove to dry. Put them in the stove to dry. Oh, here they are. Apron. There's another one. Okay, yeah. Sure, Teresa. I'll collect these clothes. You go do other stuff. You'll make a fire or something. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, right. <laughs> got him. Yeah, 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 I got him, Theresa. I got him. Now what? Oh. It's sopping wet. Afraid of thunderstorms, are you? Not anymore. Shouldn't we spread the linen out? Henry, hush now. Alrighty, I had to cut away a little bit of that cutscene because that was not safe for YouTube, let me tell you that. That was not safe for YouTube. Let's just say Henry and Theresa have um, have upped their relationship. And Henry is now, he's now officially committed to Theresa, let's call it that. And as you saw, we actually we actually have a new perk in the um, in the uh, in the bottom corner. After spending time with your beloved, your charisma is temporarily increased by three. Wow, our charisma is 17 at the moment. I think we can uh, uh, talk ourselves out of any situation right now. Resistance, you get a permanent plus two bonus on vitality. I'm not even sure where all these things are coming from now. 50% easier because of light armor. Right, right, right. Theresa, I just want to tell you how amazing last night was. Hello there. So... About me and you. What happened there? About that evening. Ah, yes. I never thanked you properly for helping me with the laundry. I think you That's thanked us properly. carried it off to God knows where. Oh, I think you thanked me enough. But next time we should take shelter somewhere else. That hazy gets into places it shouldn't and itches like mad. Henry, you donkey. You really know how to sweet talk a girl, don't you? And anyway... What do you mean by next time? Just what exactly do you have in mind for the two of us? 
Well, well, we'll, we'll be together, of course. What do you think? Well, we'll be together. Exactly. Like a couple. And when the time comes, you'll take me as your husband, right? <laughs> You're full of yourself, aren't you? But that's not how things are done. Well, obviously, under normal circumstances, I'd ask your pa for your hand, but... Papa? Yes. He'd set the dogs on you. Well, he's now dead, isn't he? Get Uncle, Uncle Beshek's blessing. blessing. Oh, God. I reckon I'd God. have better luck with him. Unless he saw a way to profit from it. And I'd have a sack of flour for my dowry. Yep. But seriously, Henry, what kind of husband would you make? You can't sit still in one place for an hour at a time. Well, I've got a lot of duties, but... I'm very fond of you, you know. And maybe one day... You... I know, you silly sod. We can't get married yet. But we can still see each other and be fond of each other. That works. <laughs> how about... How about I ask you to repair my clothes right away? <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Uh, not just yet. But here's the thing. I mean, in medieval times, if you were to come into a situation like this where a female could get pregnant and stuff like that, nobody would marry them anymore, right? So this is basically exactly... Like, this is basically marriage already in medieval times, I think. I think that's kind of how it works. Uh, unless there is... Well, there's, there's exceptions, of course, but that's actually, you know... Oh, God, are we going to go into this? No, we're not going to go into this. But it's, it's, it's you know... It's, di it's, it's, it's different in medieval times. It's different. Nowadays, we can get away with anything, and we can date for a while... And just, you know, be done with one another after dating for a while. Or maybe not even dating. But in medieval times, getting to this step, that's just not how it works anymore. But this is the episode of romance, it seems. So I, I, I think we're just going to roll with it. Now let's get our armor back up. Uh, and actually, we need to talk to Peshek about this whole... You know what? We'll, we'll look like a knight. I mean, like so. We'll make sure everything is worn again. And we'll talk, about, we'll talk to Peshek about marriage and love and that sort of thing. Because we want to marry Theresa now, right? That is what we want. We're the good guy here. Um, have any work, training, like to try pickpocketing again. No, no, we can't, we can't talk to Peshek, it seems. Right, we'll talk about, uh, we'll talk to Theresa. You've you. got something for us already. I got them from Uncle Peshek. Just don't go poking them where you shouldn't. What? Uh, they're lockpicks. They're not really intended for poking in your own locks. <laughs> no, exactly. But at least God damn it. get caught. God damn it, Henry. You didn't get them from me. I indeed didn't get them from you. Can you repair my clothes? <laughs> this is... Are we Are we already going to take advantage of the situation here? I've got something that needs stitching up. Could you do it for me? All right. I can't have you walking around in torn rags, can I? Exactly, because you are mine and I'm yours now. Right? That's how it works, I guess. What's the armor for? <laughs> are you afraid I'll jump you? Well, you did it once. I mean... Look at that. So Theresa repaired all the clothing, and look at how beautiful we look right now. Everything is nice and clean again. I love it. I love it. Right. Okay. Wow. The episode of love, eh? We've got the executioner together with that girl. We got together with Theresa, although we don't know what this is just yet. But I think both Theresa and Henry are quite fond of each other, and they would like to just be fond of each other for a while. We don't have to speak about marriage just yet. But, um, you know... We all know what's coming. These are medieval times. If something like this happens, you marry one another. That was that was. I mean, they call it in in uh, um, they call it a quote unquote. You have to now, right? That's what they call it, right? It's like I actually like my 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 grandfather, for example, had the same with my grandmother. Like they they, she was you know four months pregnant, so marriage was you know. <laughs> as soon as they could so they could maybe disguise the fact that they've been together before marriage already anywho let's not talk about this let's play some bloody kingdom come deliverance we need to get to Meriet and we need to t we need to figure out what happened to Tobias so we're going to go interrogate the captive in Meriet right and since we have plenty of savior schnapps I'm actually going to just I'm going to do a little bit more saving because why not I mean we, we probably should do a little bit more saving Right, let's get to Marriott. Hopefully we'll get some action this episode, because we haven't fought in I don't know how many episodes. Black Peter? No Black Peter. 
Where's that road? Now, no, 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 no more distractions. No more distractions. We're going to Marriott. Yeah. We've been distracted for so long. Oh, and we need food. We need to buy food. Okay, let's um, maybe go to the butcher or something, get some smoked sausages or something like that. I mean, I'd like to get some pretzels for the road. Uh, we could just go to the... We could just go to the inn. This is the inn, right? Yeah, let's just go to the inn. We could play a game of Farkle as well, because now I know how it works. No, no, no more distractions. Damn it, Primus. Let's I get to Marriott. You can be of help. Uh, what's happening, what's around, happening here? around here? Not in much, thank God. Uh, nice. Look at our helmets. Look at look at the marvelous job Theresa did on our helmet and on our um, on our overcoat. We look like a knight again. Right. I'm gonna buy some bacon. I'm gonna buy some bread. Some bread roll. We're gonna buy some cheese. We want uh, some cooked hair meat and let's have some venison as well. Wow, that is that is expensive. Well, it is what it is. Drinking water. Uh, I'll take some lentil soup. And some road pretzels. And let's have some salami as well. Smoked sausage. Let's do two of those. Yeah, that seems good. We are going to pay 95 for that. That is fine. I'm not going to actually... You know what we'll do? You know what we'll do? We never do this. We'll give him a bit of a tip. We'll give him a bit of a tip. Let's make it a hundred. Let's make it a hundred. Here. With a little something on top for a good measure. Oh well, no, thank you very Because much. you helped us with the whole Riki situation, my friend. You helped us with the whole Riki situation, and what 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 goes around comes around, right? So that's all fine. Let's have uh, some venison. Honestly, I really would like to buy another horse. So we need to get some money. We need to we need to get some more money. I'd like some more carrying capacity so that we can make even more money, right? Alrighty. So this is where we encountered those three humans, which we. Yeah. Which we all, which we killed. We killed all three of them. Then here is the mill where we found, uh, where we had one of those cronies, Timmy, I believe. No, Timmy was later, right? I actually don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. But one of the, one of the, they weren't really bandits. They were more like crooks. One of the crooks was over here. And then to the right, you will see Tomberg. To the right, you will yeah. see Tomberg. There it is, Tomberg in the distance. Beautiful, isn't it? This game is so bloody beautiful. And then that would be Merguyet. Something burning? I'm warning. What? Yeah. No, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Are you blind for Christ's sake? There's people walking here. Stop it. Talk to me. What's happened? What the hell is going on? Why are you standing around yelling in the middle of the road? For Christ's sake, lad. Don't you hold your life dear. There's a plague in Merhoyed. Go while you still can. Damn it. Look, I've been sent here by Sir Radzik Kobola. Sir Radzik Kobola sent me. I can help you. You've a good heart, boy, but take my advice. Nothing good awaits you here. God be with you. Go where you want. It's your life on the line, not mine. All right, stay here, Pebbles. What is all this smoke? What has happened here? They were attacked, that I know. Because that is what Sir Ratzig told us. There's been an attack on Merhoyet, but a plague in Merhoyet, that is new. It's a dead horse, again. Right. Let's see if we can find anybody. Should we draw? I don't think we should. I don't think we should. I see a woman walking in the street. So... What is that then? What are they burning? What is that? They are... They are deliberately burning something. Is that the bodies? Fish trap. Is that a fish trap? 
Oh, right, 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 right. I'm not gonna... No, no. One thing at a time, Primus. What is that they're burning? Could be the sick. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, let's stay clear of this place. Don't want to get sick ourselves. Let the uh, plague doctors handle it, right? Now, this is a stables. That I know. So, I wouldn't mind talking to the stable master, Johan. Are you the stable Good master? Idea. Good day to you. Let's talk trade. Oh, a book. Sure. No, I, no, I'd rather save up for a better horse, to be honest. No, wait, we can't still talk to you. Stop it. What's happened here? Things are bad. Very bad. First we get attacked by them brigands. Barely come out of that alive, and now the plague. Plague, you say? Indeed so. Something's up with the village. Even the livestock are dying. It, it's a gruesome sight. Okay, first things first, I'm looking for my friend. I'm looking for Matthias. He works as a stable hand at the stud farm. Matthias? The brigand's gone in, poor lad. He's lying wounded at the stud. Wounded at the stud? Wow, okay. Didn't expect that. What about the plague? about this plague? It sounds terrible. We need to tend to Matthias. We should be good at tending to people now. Oh, dead or dying? No doubt the people will be next. Melika's old woman's taken to her bed. And it doesn't look good. Straw's wife and brother. Oh, more and more. I'm sorry to hear it. What if this attack was not an attack? What if the... Because, I mean, how on earth could the... Okay, let's. I'm gonna throw away. I'm gonna throw down my my thoughts later. But let's let's first ask some questions here. Who attacked you? Who attacked you? I don't know. Some bandits. Ever since Scalitz was raised, they've been marauding the whole province. Did you put up a fight? We most certainly did. Once Melikar heard young Straw shouting to the hills. He handed everyone a pitchfork or a flail, and we ambushed the bastards. Good on you. How did it turn out? We gave them what for until they turned tail and ran. But they cut up young straw. Something awful. He didn't live to see morning. Who are Melikar and Straw? <sighs> That's right. You're not from round here, are you? Melikar's the one looking after things round here now. Before that, it was down to Smill from the Neuf Stud. But they killed him that time they raided the place. And young Straw is the son of Andrew, a local woodcutter. Or was, I should say. The bandit saw to that. The old man isn't taking it well. Where will I find Melikar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melikar's is the house on the left. I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw's house All right, on the clear. Right. right and left. I heard the bandits didn't get very far here, though. Luckily, young Straw saw them still over by the cross and woke the whole village. We even captured one. He's tied up now at Melikar's place. But then the disease came. All right, that's all. Thanks. So my thoughts Tell here, and I, I on, like, honest to God, I don't remember anything about... I mean, you know that I've played this game before, but I remember the Siege of Pribislavic. Sorry, the Battle of Pribislavic. I don't remember this. I don't remember this. So, but my thoughts when listening to this is... I do feel like it's a bit odd that these bandits were overwhelmed by a couple of people with pitchforks. Like, that doesn't... I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I think I think there's more to it. And that plague is not a like that that plague is not a random thing that happened after 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 an attack that the bandits didn't win. Like the 
the townspeople didn't win from the bandits. The bandits deliberately brought that plague, I think. I think those two are connected. So, yeah. But first, let's find our friend, uh, Matthias. There he is. Oh, my lord. Hi there, buddy. How? You're a sight for sore eyes. With a little bit of luck, we can give him something doing? like a marigold decoction or something. Too, Matthias. So Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. How'd you so recognize me? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? Yeah, you could put it that way. Yeah, something like that. But that's not important right now. Well, I'm glad to see you have a job. Lots of our old neighbors have been reduced to begging. Yeah, I'm working on that too. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk are saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Yeah, it's not a it's not a coincidence. Look, how are you? Are you alright? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. Yes. You've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damned bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. Hmm. Can we not fix that? Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? Look, you captured one, right? Where is he? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Aye, old Melahar let him have it over the head with a flail. And now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why's that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening his sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. Look, I understand Straw wants revenge, but he'll hand him over to me. This is bigger than Straw. I can tell you what he'll do with him. He'll hand him over to Sir Radzig's envoy. Exactly. Me. I doubt Melikar will let him go willingly. The folk here are baying for blood. Of course the they are, but... have been lost. First the raid, and now this plague. God knows what they'll do. Yeah, well, here's the thing. If they don't hand him over... More stuff like this will happen, right? I mean, today it's Merhoyet, tomorrow it might be Ledechko. Or, or, or Uzic. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. Okay, that is... No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. Right. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers... Exactly. I don't bandits? buy that. One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torch it. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. <laughs> Good. Look, I already asked whether you captured one. I'm not going to ask it again. How was the raid? Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? Wait, we've been here. Never mind. Sickness. About this sickness. When did this plague start? The day after the raid, the horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. What are the signs? What are we dealing with here? What are the signs that someone's getting sick? I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba, although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Exactly. Either so they way, weren't burning bodies the then. Well, they're dropping like flies. No, they're burning the animals. People will end up the same for sure. Yeah, they're burning the animals. Who's sick? Who's ill now? I don't know. What well, with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. Okay, 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 okay. Melikar. Can I ask you a bit about Merhoyed? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. 
We know where to find. We know where to find uh, straw, and we we already know about straw and Melkor. So, I don't need that. Tell me about the. Red. The only thing that I would like to double check what is. Do you no, I don't want to double check it. Why can't I help you? Why can't I help you with your arm? I'm not gonna kill you. <laughs> Acting on my impulsive thoughts, right? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I'll pick some nettle. Okay, we need to talk to... Uh, Stroll and Melikar. Which I believe is here. Oh, they're sick. Right. It's the white cross at the door, eh? Um, still, we're going in. Please, no more suffering. Villager. Vincent. Villager. Okay, maybe we should get out of here. Ranger. Walk more than 50k. We have walked quite a bit. Let's close that door. So, yeah, these are the sick... Thought Straw or Malakar would be here, maybe, but no. Okay, where are they then? Uh, quest log, no quest log. Interrogate the captive in Meruyet. Yeah, I don't know where he is. Ask the local bailiff about the situation. We have the whole King Silver affair thing, but that is something that we... Well, as a wash, well, oh, we won't get any cleaner. That is fine. Uh, where is the bailiff? Well, that helps when fending off bandits. My god. I've already forgotten the directions. Like, I've, I've already forgotten where the... Uh, where Straw... You're not allowed inside. If you want to go in, talk to Melikar. Oh. Good day to you. What do you need? I need to get inside, because this is where you have the captive, don't you? I need to talk to that captive. Sorry, no one's allowed inside. Melikar's orders. Melikar doesn't give the orders. It's a matter of life and death, and I am Suradzik's envoy. I'm Suradzik Kobola's envoy, and I urgently need to question the captive. Exactly. I don't care if you're the Pope's envoy. I can't let you in. Jeez, are you sure you want about to that? Talk to the captive, you have to get permission from Melikar. God be with you. Okay, fine. You're lucky. You're lucky today, buddy. You're not allowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. We'll talk to Melikar. Just know that I would be. And he wasn't watching either. What the hell? Okay, fine. We'll talk to Malakar anyway, because I want to do this the clean way. I want to do this the clean way if I can. Just need to find the bastard. More sick. Hold up, Malakar. Are you Malakar? Oh, aye, that's me. Alrighty, buddy. Need to speak with the prisoner. Yeah. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry. Envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Saradze won't help us with that. Any more than he helped us when we were attacked. Well, I'm here to help you, right? Look, Saradze doesn't even know of the plague, by the way. But I am, he I am here to help you. I'm here to help you. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. 
Johanka, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to if she's actually there. Okay. I will actually help. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. Probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoners got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. Yeah, that's not if a coincidence. I need to go to the monastery. I need to know as much as possible about the disease. The prisoner is the, to know the prisoner is the source, about right? To ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot, and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've dawned yeah. time on the afflicted houses, but don't stay too long in those homes. Yeah. That I can promise you. Take care now. Right, we need to talk to Johanka at the monastery, and we will. You're not allowed it. You want to go in? Yeah, I want to go in, and I already talked to Malakar. Malakar is not going to help us until we've done this. Um... Let's talk to uh, Tobias again, because he knows Johanka. And where on earth is Johanka? Like, what? What was the? What was the town she was in? Was she in Sazau? Well, Matthias is sleeping, isn't he? Where's Johanka? I must talk to Johanka. She ought to know how to help the folk in Merriet. <coughs> but we first need to know what we're dealing with. Tobias is no longer talking. He's probably resting, sleeping. He's probably out cold. So we're going to have to talk to... Um, that is Malakar. That is just a villager. We're going we're gonna to talk to some of the sick. I do believe they're here, right? Yeah, that's the, that's the White Cross. And they're all gone. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the other house. It's that one. Off the cart, Henry. Just, I, just make sure the prisoner doesn't die, all right? Just make sure the bloody prisoner doesn't die. Because if he dies, we will have nothing. I'm okay with doing this for you, but... This needs to be done quickly, so... I'll write as soon as I can. Okay, uh... You, you look the most fit. Talk to me. Jesus, lad, what are you doing here? Can't you see the play cross on the door? I'm here because of it. The monastery sent me to help. God bless you, boy. It's about time. Let's keep that helmet on you and need put some cloth in the mouth. What you're suffering from? Oh, I see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife too. I recall almost nothing of yesterday. I was raving for most of it. Is there anything else, apart from the fever? Well, forgive me for saying so. The shit just pours out of me. I can't keep anything in. Okay, so fever, more. diarrhea. My wife's the same. You have my thanks. I'll try to bring help. Fever, diarrhea, and your wife's Wait, the same. Will you? I have one favor to ask. Right, ask away. What do you need? Yeah, it's in Sasau. Right, what do you need? So tell me. So your hunk is in Sasau. I need to write my will. Can you write? I can. I might manage that. Excellent. So get writing. Yes. I, Vincent, son of Vincent, grandson of Vincent of Mehoyed. Leave everything to Vincent. My and all my worldly <laughs> goods to my wife Wilma. Oh. <laughs> well, if my wife were to pass away with me. Mm-hmm. I bequeath all to my cousin Dobesh, at this time the cobbler in Yanovitz. In no event shall my prodigal son Elia, the layabout and good for nothing, inherit a single groschen. All customs and traditions aside. Um, should I write that too? Yes. And then write The executor of my last will is to be my good friend, Father Fabian. Presently, the parish priest at the church of St. Martin in Sasso. Anything else? This will was written down by. What is your name? Henry. Presently in fealty to Sir Radzig Kobola. 
Well, I never. That will add some weight. Here, take my ring so Fabian will know it to be truly from me. You can never be sure nowadays. Yeah, but my friend, you're not going to die. You're not going to die, my friend. Of course. I'll get help. Your son, Elijah, what did he do to you? Christ almighty. Trying to interfere, are you? No, what no, I'm just do? curious. Everything. Maybe I shouldn't press buttons. Married, and instead he ransacked the house and ran off. The little fuck. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Last we heard, he was some jackhand in Sasso. Boozing, playing dice, lying and cheating for a living. Such a disgrace. Hmm. Where, where am I going to find Father Fabian? Where can I find Father uh. Fabian? Well, where do you think? In St. Martin's Church, of course. We need to go to Sasau for a couple of reasons. All right, I'll head off then. Yes, go now. Yeah. Go before you catch the disease. Then where will we be? Another quest, last will and testament. Look, I'm going to talk to your wife. No. Okay, let's just get the hell out of here. They don't want to talk. Let's close that door. Though it doesn't really matter because we just have the open windows here. But yeah. Okay, fine. Right. Okay, so now we know what we're talking about. We're talking about fever and uh, diarrhea. Right? We're talking about a fever and diarrhea. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can talk to one more person about this whole symptom kind of thing. I need to know the exact symptoms. Because we don't want to be wrong here. Let's talk to this villager. What, what, what are the symptoms? Because they're saying it's... Um, are you from Malachar's farm? You're from Malachar's farm? Y yes. I need to talk to the captain. Oh, no, no. Malachar forbade me to let anyone near him. Oh. You could just forget to lock up. You don't have to let me in. You might just forget to lock the door. Well, why would I forget to lock the door? Well, you might find some groschen lying on the ground. That can make a person forget things. Oh, I see. And how many groschen might be lying on the ground? There's a guard coming. Um, so... It'll stay just between the two of us. You can be sure of it. All right, then. Good luck, then. The reason I'd like to do this is because we don't want Melikar to kill the captive before we're back from Sasau. So I'd like to get the information out of him before, before that happens. I think she's going in. Yeah, I think she's going in. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually going to do this right now this episode. We're still going to we're still going to help them here with the plague. We're still going to make sure this is all done. But I would like to get the information that we need before we actually set before before we write the Sasau basically. Uh, another thing that I would like to know is You're not allowed in want to go in, talk to Melikar. Yeah, don't worry, buddy. What's the matter, man? Need to shit. Yep. Right, she's going to forget to lock the door. We're going to be... Is that Melikar? No, it's just a villager. Good thing I still talked to the lady there. Speaking of the lady, where is she? Should go. It's open though, it's open. You're not allowed in. Yeah, yeah, turn around, buddy. If you want to go in, talk to Melikar. Look, this is not the first time we're doing this, buddy.
I'm not gonna kill you, you're just gonna sleep for a bit. Let's close that door. We're gonna talk to that prisoner. We need to talk to him before they kill him. What? Because they... That sickness. What am I gonna do? If he dies, I'll be right back where I started. Jesus, he's sick too. I'll have to try and keep him alive. Okay. Anything in here that we need to, a boar hide that we could use? Yeah, take that. Okay, so the captive is sick as well. Jesus, he's sick too. We'll have to try and keep. And he's not talking until we. Um, he's not talking until he, until we make him better as well. But I'm glad we checked. I wanted to get some information out of him before they uh, before they kill him, right? That is basically why I wanted to check that. How are we doing for time here? Yeah, we're over time. That is okay, though. I think we I think I think we've we've learned a lot today, and we need to get to Sasau. There's a couple of things that we need to do in Sasau anyway. Oh, by the way, thank you, thank you, my lady. Uh, we needed we needed you to keep that door open. Uh, there's somebody else walking around here. I'd like to talk to one more person, like you. To confirm whether the um, greetings. greetings. I'd like to confirm the symptoms. What here? Horror of horrors, master. We were attacked by some bandits, and then the plague broke out. Right, 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 right. right. Jesus Christ! Indeed, make a cross That's there. Right. What are the symptoms of the plague? The Almighty has sent this punishment on us. Sure. Tell me about the plague and the disease. Tell me something about it. I don't want to tempt fate by talking about it. Makes me shudder to think of it. There's not much to tell anyway. It hit us just after that rabble left. First the horses died, then livestock, and now it's people. Like Malikar's wife, poor thing. Okay. These bandits, who were they? No, no, I know that. Thank you. That's... Okay, cheers. Right, we are going to call it quits here, but let me talk about Sasau for a bit, because there's a couple of things we need to do in Sasau. Um, first of all, we need to find Johanka, right? We now need to find Johanka. Uh, I'm glad we checked on the on the bandit. Now, it does seem like the bandit is not going to be very talkative until we fix that whole disease kind of thing. And Johanka is going to help us in that. Now, another thing that we need to talk about is... There is this issue with a stone delivery, I do believe, in uh, in Sasau. With the Sasau something. And the stone is coming from Talmberg. Because uh, Sir Divish has asked us to investigate that. And then also we need to get, I believe, an ornamental crown for his wife. Right? We need to get an ornamental crown for, uh, for the wife of Sir Divish, which is Lady Stephanie. So there's lots of things going on in Sasau. And then also we now have that will thing going on. Um, and we haven't even been to Sasau yet, so we have no clue. We have no clue what to expect there. But the most important thing, of course, is Johanka. Now, how are we going to get to Sasau? Let's talk, take a look at that as well. I need to refresh this because I do believe that we, yeah, Sasau is in the uh, in the uh, in the corner, the bottom left corner here. So um, this is Sasau actually, but I do believe this is Sasau as well, right? Sasau is a pretty big town. Yeah, so this is the monastery in Sasau, and then this is the town of Sasau, right? And this is going to be some religious stuff, I do believe. Some cool religious stuff, which I like, by the way. I like that. And this is, wow. Our friend um, Saratzig is actually close. And then I do believe that this is a deal. Let's take a look at the DLC quests, actually. Um, so this is what we're playing with. We've got Treasures of the Past... And that is all the treasure maps. I've I've not done any of this except for tours and uh, except as tours and tournaments. Yes, I've been playing too much CK3. No, uh, to the tourney, right? Um, there is stashes containing magnificent warhorse armor. Many people have searched for it, but in vain. With a little effort and the grace of gods, perhaps you can succeed in finding the armor. So this law and it's we can find it. We can find a, a five. The first part of the Warhorse armor and five treasure maps will appear in your universal trunk. So that is probably going to be the best armor of the game. 
And I would like to do some digging for that. That would be amazing. Then we have this, Pribitslavich, a sprawling long abandoned village is now swallowed up by the woods. You always wondered what secrets it concealed and why the villagers never returned there. And so you were pleasantly surprised when Sir Divish told you he had plans for the old settlement. Enlists our help in rebuilding Pribitslavich. Now that is something so that is something I'm just so bloody excited about. That is something I'm so bloody excited about. So I'd really like to talk to Sir Divish about that. Really like to talk to Sir Divish. Then we have the tournament. Next to godliness with Sir Hans. Um, as far as epilogue. You won't be able to accept the quest from Capon and the tourney will launch on its own. Okay. Well, that's the tourney. We fought, we fought the tourney. Uh, then we have the amorous adventures of Sir Hans Capon. Uh, the rightful heir to the town of Ratai dedicates most of his time to educating himself in matters nightly. Well, <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. Who are you kidding? He excels at hunting, combat and horse riding, or so he believes. He hasn't mastered the noble game of chess or even the more common game of dice. And as for poetry recitation, the time has come for him to work on that if he is to win the heart of the maiden of his dreams. So I'm really curious what this is going to be about as well. The beginning of a new adventure with Hans is active at the end of the Capon quest line, uh, culminating in the robber baron assignment, which can be started at the main after the main quest. Yeah, okay, so this we're way yeah, we're not we're not no. We're we're not near this. We're not nowhere near this. But we could start with Privitslavich. A band of bastards traveling the roads in the provinces of Hazard. Yeah, we almost talked about this to Sir Ratzig. Um, we can do this after completing Baptism of Fire, which is the assault on Privitslavich. Um so yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff, man. And a woman's lot, of course, a woman's lot. That is the story of um yeah, once you've completed those quests, so that is Pestilence in God's Hands, Pestilence. That is what we're doing right now, my God. Uh, so Theresa's story will be available once we launch the main quest, Awakening. Uh, then we can go to the Ratai Mail, and then we can talk to, Ther to Theresa basically about her story of, I think, I don't know. I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure, but I... Something something tells me, so I, I think when I bought these DLCs, I think that is about Theresa's escape from Scarlet's, which I think is going to be very, very cool. I'd like to, I'd definitely like to play this. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, but then also, Johanka. Once you've completed those quests, all you have to do is visit Johanka, where you will be guided by this. So that's basically two new quests. And that... Will probably be Johanka's story then? Did we meet Johanka? Do we know Johanka? I mean, Matthias knows Johanka. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff indeed. But first, we have a lot of other things we need to do. We have so many side quests. And we have a plague roaming around here. And we don't want that guy to die. So the first thing we need to start doing next episode is get to Sasau, talk to Johanka about this story. But also, I want to do some combat. My god, I miss combat. We haven't done any combat in a long time, and I would like to do a little bit of fighting if possible. I mean, I could... No, 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 we're not going to do that. My friends, let's get Pebbles in here. Let's drink a safety schnapp. Where are you? Oh, wow. Hi there, Pebbles. Let us uh, be here with Pebbles, and I'm going to have Pebbles in the view like that so that we don't forget that he's already here. We're going to take a safety schnapp. We're going to save the game. Take a safety schnapp. Game will be overwritten. That is all good. We have saved the game. And we are going to call it quits here, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy this content, do let me know by leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, leaving a comment and all that jazz. That always, that's always very nice to read for me. I always like engaging with you guys. That is partly why I have the channel, right? Because we can learn from one another and you guys are bloody amazing in the comment section. So keep that coming. My friends, for now though, I bid you a farewell. And I absolutely hope to catch you on the next episode. My friends, let's solve this plague thing. Talk to Johanka on the next one. For now, bye-bye.